Ready? Yeah. Ready? All right. Um, so we're hearing from a lot of evacuees, I'm sure you are too, about the emergency alert system and some concerns there. I've heard a lot of people say, why didn't I get an Amber Alert style emergency alert sent to my phone? Why is that? Well, so we sent alerts out. We just targeted them to a particular area. Um, the sheriff's office sent the alerts that were targeted to a specific area. The, my understanding, we don't, the sheriff's office doesn't run the system that does the emergency alert system or the emergency operations center does. And my understanding is I made the decision not to do that because we're concerned about traffic congestion and phone calls into the dispatch center. And I actually agree with them. I was there that night when this fire was going, I was there by midnight. We had people stacked in Larkfield trying to evacuate and they couldn't get out because of the gridlock into 101. This county is heavily populated in that 101 corridor. And had we had people come from all directions into that corridor, I'm concerned we would have had more deaths of people in their cars trying to get out. So you think this was the right call? I do. I don't, I don't think we could have handled that kind of a load in the area that it was. And again, I go back to the fact that the sheriff's office sent those same, in essence, the same evacuation notice to the area that was affected. So the messages went out and I respect the fact that people didn't get some. We have to remember it burned telephone poles and hard lines. It burned cell phone towers, 73 cell phone towers. And that fire moved so quickly that it, it, it overran first responders. So it's terribly unfortunate, but it's how that unfolded for us that night. And I've also heard people say that if you were concerned for panic, if there ever was a time for panic, isn't it during a wildfire? Yeah, but panic is what's, what gets people killed if you panic everybody who come out onto the roads. And I, just as an example, there were 300 calls per hour coming to our dispatch center. That overloaded them. We send out a message to 100,000 people. We're going to get 3,000 calls. And those dispatchers, the radio traffic never stopped that night. All they were doing was trying to get deputies to houses that needed to be evacuated. And that was more important. That was a really important piece of that puzzle. So overloading the system is a big deal. So I think that the EOC made the right call that night. Uh, most people are being told to sign up for Nixle alerts. Do you know how many people in the general population have done that? Yeah, Sonoma County has 290,000 Nixle subscribers. We looked at it today. And how does that compare to the population? I don't know. 500,000 in the county. Okay, so that's a pretty good That's group. a great number for something like that that's voluntary, but we're really pushing it every time, right? I want everybody on Nixle alert and I want everybody on SoCo alert. And what's the difference with those two? Do you get the same information for both? So we use Nixle alerts for a wide range of things and SoCo alert is more for emergencies. So SoCo Alert is like the emergency broadcast system, fires like this, things that come out of your emergency operations center. We at the sheriff's office will use that for emergencies. We will also use Nixel for press releases, road closures. So there's different levels of threshold you can pick on Nixel. So you can be notified if your neighborhood roads got closed from a traffic accident, or you can be notified just in an emergency. Now Lake County did choose to override the system and send out an emergency alert to every person within cell range. And they're saying no deaths in Lake County that may partially be credited to that still in your opinion it was best not to send it out yeah I don't think you compare Lake County to Sonoma County very different areas and I don't think you can come to a conclusion of lack of deaths because of the message went to 500,000 versus the 2,000 that were impacted again we got that message out okay yeah I guess that I just want to clear that up because yep. I know in in these scenarios we are looking for lessons to be learned or things to be improved and in your opinion the emergency alert system as is is working well yes but let me be really clear really important issue to us we are absolutely looking at all the facts behind it when our post went out when the what the message was did it get to everybody one of the things I learned from talking to another agency is that when the phone lines come back up and some of the systems come back up there some of these phone calls sit in a queue in a computer and people get evacuation calls five weeks later so we're a little concerned about that and how that happens but that kind of explains those people didn't get the call then because they got it now yeah. so we're, we're we're looking at all of that because we always approve what we're doing and always want to make it safer. So we're obviously reviewing everything. The problem right now is we're still fighting this fire. We're not putting a lot of resources into reviewing what happened with that system right now because we're fighting a fire. So to somebody who's sitting here in an evacuation center who's saying to me today, I just really wish I got an alert to my phone and I didn't sign up for Nixel and I don't think I should have to. What do you say to them to make them feel better? Please sign up for Nixel. If you, just, the way it is these days is that's the only way we can get to your cell phone in some of these emergencies. So you have to, you have to choose to get those. But you choose when to get them, meaning what kind of a, an alert. So you can just pick emergencies. You don't have to get press broadcasts. You can choose to, choose to just pick the emergencies, and that's pretty rare in our life. And about the people who are left behind, because that's going to happen. And some, some people are not going to sign up. Radios, TVs got to be pay attention to what's going on but we sent deputies to everybody's house that we can get to 
We knocked on doors, we used loudspeakers, and that's why we still do that. We don't count on people to always get that message, so we send people personally in there to get them. Okay. Anything I didn't ask about, I shouldn't No, I think you covered it all. Awesome. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you so much. All right. These guys are next.